Hey fuckers, how about a love reading for you today? Okay, I'm getting the Six of Swords reversed. Hmm. So there's some sort of delay or obstacle in resisting change for you. I feel like there is this, this other direction that you want to go in in your life, but there's things holding you back. Yeah, your own fear and anxiety. I feel like you're repressing your emotions and your excitement and I feel like you're repressing anxiety and, and fear, which is what is actually holding you back from this new direction that you want to take. And this new direction is going to provide you with comfort, stability, uh, emotional and monetary f fulfillment. And I feel like this is going to help you to be very, very independent, radiant, where you don't need anyone. And, but you're holding yourself back from this abundance. Why are they holding themselves back, Spirit? Why are they so scared? Hmm, four of Swords reversed. Okay. So they're needing to slow down, rest, and they're, so they're taking some time for themselves. Okay, that's good. Very good, very good. So I feel like this person is kind of taking some reflection time, taking care of themselves, getting their rest, maybe thinking about things further, maybe getting some planning in. Yeah, Ten of Cups. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I feel like this person is getting ready to basically go for everything and anything they've ever wanted. However, they're scared. They have this fear of the unknown. They have anxiety holding themselves back because it's a very new direction in their life. This is completely out of their element and out of the ordinary for them. So naturally they're scared. I get it. Whoever you are, this, the, this is, but this is definitely the road to everything you've ever wanted. And with temperance, yeah, I feel like this is a spiritually guided path for you. I feel like you need to trust the process, the divine timing. I feel like you not trusting because of the fear and the anxiety that's holding you back. Spirits are talking to you like, hey, in order to get this abundance, this 10 of cups, you have to trust the process. You have to trust the signs and synchronicities, the messages from the spiritual realm. And, of all, and above all, you have to be patient. Okay? And with the Page of Wands here, this is something that excites you. This is something that you are very, very passionate about. Whatever this is, whatever this journey this that, that you're holding yourself back from pursuing and this direction in your life. It's something that's going to really make you happy. Yet, you're still holding yourself back. Weird. Oh, Page of Cups. Okay. So, with the Page of Cups. Now, pages are, are very much messenger cards. Um, and also a, an element of immaturity. Childlike. Okay. And with the Page of Cups, I do feel like this is something that... I feel like you're very extra creative, yet also very sensitive and feeling a little naive. So that's where I feel the fear is driven from. The afraid that you're being naive, afraid that you're putting too much, you know, emotion into something that's not going to work. Afraid that you're not going to get the abundance that you want. You know, and, and all around, you just need to trust the process and have the patience and know that divine timing is at work here. This will bring balance to your life, whatever this new direction is. Eight of Cups. Spirits are telling you right now with the Eight of Cups, walk away from what no longer serves you. Go in that new direction. This is what's going to make you happy. Yeah, you're the Empress and you're coming out. The Empress is coming forward. So this is showing me you stepping into your power, having that patience, having that abundance, 
releasing that fear, releasing that anxiety, and taking that step forward towards your happiness, your abundance, your independence. You're radiant. You're attractive. You're sexy. You're caring. You're nurturing. And with the Two of Swords, okay, I feel like you're at a crossroads. At this point in, in juncture in your life, I feel like you're at a crossroads. You're trying to figure out what, you know, what, where, which direction to go. Should I do this? Should I not? Should I stay? Should I go? And you're just wanting balance in your life. And with the Three of Swords reversed, I feel like you're getting over some sort of heartbreak, some recovering from some sort of betrayal, heart chakra, something that really, really hurt you, which is also fueling your anxiety and your fears. And what's going to happen with this connection, Spirit? Or what if, or this situation, whatever the case. Um, yeah. So ex now, and there's another factor into your fears and anxiety. There's, a, there's been a lot of external forces at work kind of setting you back um, throughout this process. And I do feel like this is something that you're like, well, okay, well, if these external forces are being able to stop me from doing this, maybe I shouldn't do this. And you're lacking the faith and you're lacking the, the, the gumption to go forward. But just because the Wheel of Fortune is, you know, right now there's bad luck, there's disruptions, there's things going wrong, and you're powerless to stop it, which is causing you stagnation, does not mean that you don't go forward. And with the Seven of Swords reversed, I do feel like you are going to be able to hear or express the truth about whatever this stagnation, this setbacks, these setbacks are, and that's going to be revealed to you and give you the opportunity and the ability to move forward. Are they going to move forward, Spirit? Hmm. So yeah, the Ace of Wands, once again, this is this is a setback. This is a lack of energy, feeling uninspired. Yeah, I do feel like you ye have little faith in whatever this new direction is that you need to go in. Okay? So you're being stubborn, you're self-sabotaging whatever the situation or connection is. And so basically you're doing it to yourself. You've had ample opportunity to step into your power, but you have not taken those ample opportunities. And there is a masculine energy waiting to be brought into your life who is stable, secure, loyal, grounded, the long haul, someone who will be there for you, someone who will provide for you, someone who will be your masculine, your counterpart, and give you all of your wish fulfillment that you want out of a love connection. But this spirits are not going to bring this person to you until you let go of whatever this is and move forward into the next direction in your life. So, oh, yeah, the eight of swords. Mm -hmm. So you're in self-denial, okay? You are not helping yourself to be happy. You, that's why you're feeling stuck. So you're keeping yourself stuck with self-denial and self-sabotage. <sighs> mm. Gotta let it, you gotta let go, honey. You do. Yeah. I, I get it. <laughs> there's no communication. There's very little to no excitement in your life right now. Nothing's, nothing feels like it's moving right. There's jealousy, there's setbacks, there's anger, there's hurt feelings. Um, I see temptation getting in the way of other third parties. <sighs> yeah, I see you confused, full of chaos, without any kind of clarity. Yeah, I see a lot of hurt, pain here, a lot of hurt feelings. But the fool is showing me right here that there is a new beginning, that you know there is. You know this new direction is there. There, You just got to take that leap of faith, which is what you're afraid to do. I hope this helps. I love you.